What's up YouTube? Today I got this 2006 Honda Odyssey with a 3.5 liter iVTEC engine. Customers complaining of oil on the driveway. This is a very common problem with these cars, our vans. It's this VTEC solenoid assembly. It's this gasket right here. Over time this gasket kind of just gets hard and brittle and shrinks and it starts pouring oil down the side of the engine. A lot of people mistake it for valve cover gaskets, but it's not. It's Most of the time it's that. Because you have a lot of oil pressure that runs through that. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. to continue to make videos like this to make your life easier. Let's get started. First thing you're going to do is take this cover off. Counterclockwise, these little plastic locking tabs. Pull up on your cover. Set that to the side. Let me give you a little more light. You look down there, all that oil, it's right there by that solenoid. That's a good indicator that that's where it's coming from. Anyways, the first thing you need to do is get this little guy out of your way. That's easier said than done. It's got a little clip underneath take a little screwdriver and see if I can get underneath that clip can't really see it just kind of kind of feel it come on baby yeah don't want to break it there we go see this little clip on the bottom of it you got to pull up on it. Slide this little screwdriver underneath it. Get that out of the way. Go ahead and unplug this bad boy. These connectors get really old and brittle from all the heat back here. All right, go ahead and unplug this too. Just get that whole harness out of my way. Okay. Now, this guy has one, two, three. Looks like three 10 millimeter bolts hold it on. It leans this way. So let's get to that hard one first. Let's see if I can get my socket on there. Don't fall. Ah, right there, it landed. Yeah. Okay. Now. Let's see if I can get my ratchet on this bad boy, my electric ratchet. Yes, I got it loose. I'm just going to leave that bolt in there and try to pop this assembly off with the bolts staying in there. Alright, now the bottom one. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it. Maybe. Yeah. Alright. Third and final. at a weird angle so let's see if I can add an extension to it and maybe get it that way go up under this hose I'm on it all right I got them all loose 
Let me pull these out since I can reach them. Uh, and just pop that bad boy off, just like that. Uh, and luckily I didn't lose my bolt. There we go. All right. The fun part, trying to line this bad boy up. And start bolts, start the front bolts first. We'll deal with that back bolt last. Start it. That one is started. Boom. All right. Now the tight, fun one on the corner over here. Ah, I got it in. I got it in. All right. Let's see if I can. <laughs> they were all started. Heck yeah. So, take our tin, reverse your ratchet. Just snug them up. To the third and final one. Let's see if we can get our socket on there like we did in the beginning first and then put the ratchet on it. Okay, we're on. It's a tight, it's a tight spot back here, y'all. Boom. Uh, all right. Sorry if I sound a little out of breath leaning over this car on well, my stomach don't feel too good. I'll just take your little uh, box there. Plug these bad boys back in. And you start the car up and just make sure you do a leak check. It ain't leaking no more. I don't think there's no need for me to do that. Y'all know how to do that. Anyways, I hope y'all like this video. I hope it's been informative. Please check like down below. Please subscribe. Any comments? Comment. Y'all have a good day. Peace out, YouTube.